Hey, how's it going? So my name's George and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about adventure, travel and reviews. So if any of that sounds like your cup of tea, hit that subscribe button. So at the minute in Australia, we're in a pretty strict lockdown and travel is pretty tough if you want to go outside your 10k radius. So I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to film a review slash information based video on three travel bags which I've been using pretty extensively over the past four or five years. They are the Wondred Provoki 31, I think, the Nomadic Travel Bag, and the Kelty Red Wing 44. Ultimately, in this video, I wanna answer the question, what is the best bag for one bag travel? That question could be very different for different types of people. And I would say start with what's really important to you and the items you're carrying. Are you carrying a camera, a drone? Are you doing lots of hiking? Um, how much stuff are you taking? Is it in the winter, is it in the summer? Because that will really determine what bags are right for you. But throughout this video, I'm gonna run through those three bags, how I've used them, some pros and cons. And at the end of this video, I'm actually going to say the bag which I would buy again. So stay tuned and let's jump into it. So the first bag we're gonna chat about, I've actually got my dog Bob on my lap at the same time because she's cold. So the first bag is gonna be the Wondred Provoki. Now, if you've done any sort of bag research, you've probably stumbled across this one and for a very good reason. This is an awesome bag. I bought it Firstly, for the looks, I thought it looked really cool. It's also got some really nice features, which we'll jump into. And I had a drone back then, and cameras. So I was thinking along the lines of a one bag travel for photography, videography, and clothes. So starting with the main feature of this bag, which really is the rear panel access. This is absolutely fantastic. If you're a photographer or if you have a drone, you can lay this down on the beach, you can lay it down in a bit dirtier terrain if you're out hiking, and you can actually fold the bag open like this. Two really nice pockets right here. This one actually fits a camera cube, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And then this one can be more for like clothes and everything else. And it's got a shelf in the middle here. And you see this uh, side pocket on the camera cube, this actually unzips, and this correlates to this pocket on the side of the bag. So if you want to get access uh, to your camera or your drone when it's still in your bag, you can actually sling it over your shoulder, and then you can access the bag straight uh, like that as well, which is really cool. So yeah, really enjoyed that. And what, also what I love is this, I guess, semi-secret passport holder. It's really cool, it's right at the back. And you can put some passports and cash in there and it's you, know, you can't get pickpockets or anything so that's a really handy feature another thing which i thought was awesome is it comes with a rain fly so at the bottom here you can unzip this and it has a rain fly in here which is really cool you can also have straps at the bottom it's got straps which i sometimes strap like a jacket or if you're hiking you could have a sleeping pad or something at the bottom these straps go like this and you can also strap the straps on the front bit of the bag as well because it has these attachment points here. It also has a massive front pocket. So in here, I quite like to keep files. It's not one of those clip things or anything which is, yeah, anything which is flat. I've also put a pair of shoes in here, which is pretty cool. Because one thing about this bag for a one bag travel bag, it doesn't have a shoe compartment, uh, which other bags do. The laptop goes in here as well. So laptop and iPad or Kindle. When you're going through airport security, it's super easy to open the bag up and go through really simply. The other thing to mention would be this little pocket, which is all the way up here. I really like this for camera batteries. I'm not sure what you're meant to use it for. There might be keys, because there's a key ring. That's also a really nice little pocket, which is available there. And yeah, I've got side straps to sort of cinch it down. And on this side, it's got a water bottle holder, or you can put a tripod because it also has another clip up here. The secret to this one as well is it also has a top load, a top loading um, functionality. So you could, it is 32 liters, but I think it goes up to 38. So yeah, you can actually pop stuff in there. Pop, do you want to go in there? So you could shove some more stuff in there, and it gives you all this top capacity, and you roll that up. 
and then you can switch that down. What's that annoying you? Sorry. And then these are magnetic, which works well like that. The only thing is, if you have too much stuff in the top and you want to dump these magnets, if there's not enough room there, like the magnets aren't very strong, so that can just come undone and that can dangle on the back of your neck, which is really annoying. So yeah, they might have fixed that with the latest one. This was one of the first versions, but they've actually brought out newer versions, which might be, might be better. I also got the one which came with hip straps. So you strap the hip straps into here and they're pretty lightweight and thin. They don't give too much comfort. And I'll actually go into, I guess, some of the more negative things now. Some of the negative features I would say about this bag is it's pretty expensive for what it is. It's really good quality materials, but I guess price again is pretty subjective, but I thought it was pretty expensive. It doesn't fit a lot of stuff. And let me elaborate on that. Some bags just fit tons in. I've got a couple of examples coming up. This one, it feels like it's too big for a day bag and it's too small for a one bag travel bag. Because by the time you put the camera bag in, that's more than half the bag if you don't want this top bit to be risen. Yeah, you're only left with this small section where you can probably fit like one packing cube in there. And then if you want to put anything on top, you have to unroll this. It's all sticking up by your head. And like I said, if these come undone and that hits you in the back of the head, it's pretty annoying. So I know Wondred, I love the brand. They've got some really cool products. They've also got the Hexel Duffel, which I would recommend looking into. And I'll compare that against the, the Nomadic. And they've also just launched a 41 litre. So I'd say the 41 litre is a lot better for one bag travel. I, I've never used it, but I would say get the bigger one if you're just thinking about one bag. Or if you're just having this as a day bag or a camera bag, I would say the 21 litre is better. This is a 31, it's like in between. It's like, oh, it's too small for a one bag travel, but it's too big for a day bag. So that would be my advice if you're looking into this. The only other thing I would say about the Wandering, and I've done so many trips with this. If I can find any photos or videos, I'll pop them in this in this video. But it's these hip belt straps. I find like, I'm not sure it's my body shape. My hips, um, yeah, they sort of dig into my hips. It's not very comfortable. If I'm wearing like a big jacket or something, it's fine. But if I'm wearing like a t-shirt or I'm carrying it without a t-shirt on on the beach or something, like like that. If I actually be pretty uncomfortable, the hip straps kind of help, but then I don't want the hip straps on all the time. So overall, I'd give this an 8.5 out of 10. I love the look, great as a camera bag. I'd love the bigger one as a one bag travel bag. And I really like the company and brand. So wondering if you're watching this and want to send any free products for me to review, you know where to find me. And you can see the Wondering version bob size, about two bob. So about two bob in that bag, in case you're wondering. Moving on to the Nomatic Travel Bag. I'm really excited to show this one. This is a bag which is max carry-on. So you can take it on a plane with you. I've taken this to a lot of places and a lot of trips. So I've been fortunate enough to I take this and it fits a lot of stuff. It's also got some really cool pockets and features and let's walk through it. Now, with this bag, it's a, I guess a panel loader, I think it's cool. So the whole, the back of the backpack actually unzips and you've got a massive pocket inside. I mean, I'd say you can fit a lot of stuff. I couldn't think of a trip where, you know, two weeks worth of clothes could easily fit in here. What I also love is it has a separate shoe bag, which is just, for me, I just like having it separate. Or it could be a laundry bag. It actually comes with a laundry bag, which is really cool. It sort of unfolds and looks really nice. So uh, I've used that a few times, which is nice. And yeah, it's pretty simple inside, really. You can just use packing cubes and really kind of pat it out. I did have a, oh, we can just use this as a packing cube, but say that's a camera cube, that fits in there really easily. Then you've also got half the bag left, which is really cool. I think it's a really good design. Laptops are a really good place as well. Similar to Wandry, it's actually next to your back, which I really like. It has another pocket there for a tablet or a Kindle or something. So yeah, lots of space. I would say that's probably one of the biggest pros of this bag, is just how much stuff you can actually fit in it. It's also got this really cool design. So this is a backpack, like this. Then if you wanted to make it a duffel bag, you can simply just pull these bits together and then you can turn it into a duffel bag. So really cool how that, how that works. Then down either side, there's tons of pockets. So what side have we got here? On this side, it's got a massive pocket 
all the way along here. And fold that open. It's got these nice edges so it doesn't open fully. You have an RFID safe to put your passport in or credit cards. Lots of like mini pockets and storage for all your electronics. So this works really well for me. I have quite a few cameras and wires and stuff, so I really like that. And then on the other side, it has a couple of, you've seen like wet, really weather sealed pockets. So I actually put my cameras in this side and all my wires on the other side. Or if there's any liquids or anything, that would work really well. So yeah. That's really cool. The bottom section is the access to the shoe or laundry compartment. So as you can see, it's a massive pocket inside there and you can actually put the laundry basket on. You can attach it in there, which is cool. And then the pockets just don't stop on this thing. <laughs> so at the top here, you have a felt line pocket for your sunglasses. And then in this pocket, it's actually a water bottle pocket. Like that's really, that's completely waterproof. So you put your water bottle in there and it hides it from the sides. And yeah, I think that was all the pockets in this one. So yeah, this bag is pretty fantastic actually. Really nice sturdy handles and really durable. Like it, all the zips and everything just feel really nice. I think it's weather resistant and the box. I've never had to put a rain flower on it or anything. I've been caught like light rain. Definitely wouldn't, you know, go in torrential rain with it if you're it's like electronics in them and stuff like that. They may need a, a rain fly, but for just a light shower, it's really nice. And all these zips seem like weather sealed and everything like that. You can also put it on, I think that's to put it on luggage. I've used that for a jacket or something, just stuff a jacket in there, because that's actually on the back of the bag, which is really cool. Yours, the other thing I like about this is because it's so big, you can easily fit another bag inside the bag. So if you're thinking about getting this bag, Get yourself a like little day pack or something. I love this Salomon Trailblazer, I think it's called, at 20 liters. It's really comfy, it's like a, a trail running bag. But yeah, super com comfy, really light, it actually folds up. Has really good hip straps, oh sorry, well. And that fits in this bag really like easily, so. Uh, yeah, that works really well, doesn't it, Bob? I actually took this on my latest video, check it out. If you like any hiking videos, check those out as well. So yeah, love this, love this bag. Some of the cons to this bag, I've made a note of them because I sometimes forget them. Yeah, it can be, well, as you can see, it can be a little boxy. It's almost like, you know those like carry-on wheeled suitcases? It's almost like, you know, they're quite pretty boxy. It's similar to that, but a backpack. So it can be a bit boxy. It's not very like, I don't know, appealing to, to look at and, yeah, just, just something to be aware of. I actually don't mind it, but it can feel a little bit like boxy, like you do have a wheeled carry-on, but I'm really sort of clutching at straws there. Again, with the design, I'm not a massive fan of this pattern, and I looked on the website before I did this video, they, they've updated it, because I've had this for like four or five years, but yeah, this pattern, not really a massive fan of, but yeah, they're probably design cons, which I don't really like. The other design con is, this is what your back's against and it's like i don't know what that material is but it's not breathable and if you're in a hot climate you might your back might get a little bit sweaty so it's not designed to go hiking or anything like that but that's where this with a combination of the salomon trailblazer put the two and two together as soon as you get to your hostel or hotel switch to this and this has only really got to get you to to it from the airport or ferry terminal if you're traveling, or if you're just putting it in the car, something like that, it's it's really good, because you don't have to wear it. But then you have the functionality of using it as a duffel, so really cool. Yeah, again, this, I think it's like 400 Aussie dollars when I looked at it. I think it's really good value for money. Overall, I'd give this like, I can, I didn't actually think about this well before I started recording, um, probably like a nine, 9.5 out of 10. The only thing which would make it amazing is if they made this into like a hiking, like, if they made this bit into a hiking panel, then it would pretty much be the perfect backpack. And yeah, if it was just an all black design, that would just suit my preference. But really happy with Nomadic. I got the travel pack, it actually comes with a shirt folder, I never use it, but. And it also came with a toiletries bag, which is pretty cool. Don't have those bits with me, but yeah. Overall, really good product, and this is the one I use the most out of all my bags. Oh, Bob just reminded me, this is about, I would say it's about three bobs.
It can, it can hold a lot of stuff. Probably can hold about three of you, can't it? That was that one. Oh, at the end of the video as well. I actually might record it in between and just show you what it what it looks like. Of me trying it on so you can see what it looks like on there as well. Uh, last but not least, I, we are going to run through the Kelty Red Wing 44. God, I've... When you talk through these bags, I'm like, why do I have all three? But there's a pretty good reason for it. I bought this one for hiking, basically. And I actually also traveled around Europe with it, did the interrailing. Those are videos from, yeah, four or five years ago. So if you want to go have a laugh and check those out, um, be my guest, just make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah, this is a fantastic bag for the money. I think I picked this up, oh God, I've got to switch between pounds and Aussie dollars now, but I think it's like a 90 pounds, 100 pounds of Amazon and it came through Primes, it's really easy to get to me. They didn't have it in black at the time, maybe had it in green. Oh, Bob's got bored. Say bye, Bob. Down. Um, they only had it in green. As you can tell, this is like a hiking backpack, but it's a really good one bag travel backpack. The reason being is super lightweight, super comfortable. Like, look at all the padding. I've got one of those. Oh, what is this? What's that for? Oh yeah, that's a Polar Pro, so I can strap my GoPro into there and take it off really easily. It's really cool when you're off when you're hiking. Really well ventilated, like it lets the uh, air sort of flow through here with this grid system. Really chunky, comfy hip belt. So if you're carrying a more weight, it's super great. And yeah, it fits a lot of stuff. And I also, I think it's carry-on, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll check your local airline. Or the airline you're gonna use. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And uh, let's jump into the, the pockets, I guess. Okay, so here we are on the front of the bag. It has this hook in here to either pick it up or to strap stuff to it, which is pretty cool. On the front, I use this as like a tech organizer or notepads and pens. And you probably put a bit of Kindle there or a tablet as well. It's quite a nice front pocket. Coming down here, you have these two clips which you open like this and you have this strap as well here and you actually have a really good uh, stash pocket so you can chuck a jacket in there anything which is wet yeah i normally put a jacket in there i think that's what i normally use it for and then what you can do is open up the main pocket which is absolutely massive and this is that clamshell um, opening you can see there m loads of internal space you could fit Easily two packing cubes, maybe three. And yeah, there's just tons of space. You can fit a lot in here, which I really liked. And you have a pocket at the top there. That's where I'd keep my cameras. So my G7X and my GoPro would go in there. And the side pockets, you could have one for like toiletries and the other one for snacks, if you will. Up to you, your, your bag, your pockets. Down the sides, you have two massive water bottle pockets. So you have one there, and you have one on the other side, and you have these cinch straps. You could have a tripod through there, you could hiking poles, anything like that. And you can actually go, you go past the pocket as well, so it goes all the way through. So they're really long, so I guess that's what hiking poles or something like that. So um, yeah, really cool. Uh, laptop or water bladder sleeve at the back. I would put your laptop in something yeah, if I'm using this one, I would use this in conjunction with that because there's some metal bars at the back for the frame and you wouldn't want your laptop pressed against that. So I'd put it in a sleeve and then put it, put it in there. I think that's everything. Yeah, it's got tons of like loops and uh, little hooks to cinch stuff to, which is cool. And yeah, I think it's a real fantastic like value for money bag. Yeah, so with the pros of this bag, you know, it's lightweight, fits a lot of stuff, uh, great materials, super comfy. With that, there are some cons. I would say the biggest one probably doesn't keep stuff overly protected. So this is quite thin material, it's really light. If you have cameras, I'd put them in some sort of protective bag. If you have fragile products, make sure they're wrapped up nice because yeah, it's not as protective as like the Wandrid or the Provoki, like, um, sorry, the Provoki or the Nomadic, it doesn't have that like real durable material. So you'd have to have a rain fly over this, it doesn't come with one, but you can eat, pick one up pretty pretty cheap. It also looks like a hiking backpack. I mean, it's pretty obvious, depending on what style you like. I actually really like the green, I think it's quite cool. Rach absolutely hates it, but yeah, I think it's I think it's awesome. But yeah, it definitely looks like you're going for a hike or 
you know, depends on what look you're going for. And it doesn't have an integrated shoe compartment, so either you could stuff your shoes in that outside bit, and with a jacket in there, or you wrap them up in a bag and put them inside. If you're going hiking, you're probably going to have one pair of shoes anyway, so you should be all right. Okay, Bob's back. So we've been through three bags. I think they all have their own purpose. So you have your Provoki, if you're a photographer, videographer, your style is important to you, I'd go for that bag. The Nomadic travel bag, that's awesome if you have a lot of stuff, or not even a lot of stuff, if you like functionality and you want a, a bag which can hold a lot of uh, packing cubes or a separate shoe compartment, tons of organisation, that's a fantastic bag. If you're more into hiking and comfort's really big to you. I actually got this, I just rang a bell, when I had a really bad shoulder from a motorbike accident, I wanted comfort in a rucksack, so that's why I went for the Kelsey Red Wing 44. Now, which one of these bags would I buy again? Out of all three, I don't want to give it, I don't want to give any of them away, let's put it that way, but I'd probably buy the Nomadic travel bag again. I just feel that for the amount of storage you get, the amount of pockets, and it's so durable, you can chuck it in the back of the car. I feel like that combined with the Salomon Trailblazer, you have a winning combination because you can store your stuff, but when you actually get to your destination, you have a light hiking backpack. Your cameras, your drone, your snacks, your water for like a day hike. I feel like that for me is my personal winning combination. For anyone watching this video, it may be different. But yeah, Bob, what's your favourite? The one which can hold the most treats, apparently, which is interesting. I'll bet give it a treat now. But yeah, if you like this video and you've made it this far, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It helps me to create more and more videos. Alongside that, if you like this sort of review content, leave a comment below to let me know if you enjoyed it and if there's any other products that you would like me to do a review on. And if you like adventure or travel videos, stay tuned for those. I normally post weekly, so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for future videos. I'll have links to all my social medias below, uh, Instagram, stuff like that. So uh, feel free to message me on there if you have any questions or leave a comment below if you have any questions. And I'll also link all the bags below. So if any one of these piques your interest, check them out through those links. And from me and Bob, we will catch you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>